whatever. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, welcome to an Urban Zone match. It's a DSP, um, also known as, I think, Little Piglets. I think that's what it stands for in Polish. Versus the Parliament of Masked Owls. Um, in short, we'll just be calling them owls. As you can see, their tag looks a little bit like an owl. <laughs> um, you can hear in the background your GTV or your um, sorry, your shoutcasters, Binary Thief and Vogels or Vogue. Sorry. Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, it's Vogue. <laughs> it's Vogue. Yeah, it's Vogue. Oh, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm gonna c continue to call you Vogue the entire time. Anyway, yeah, we have a very little time uh, before the match starts, so I'm going to quickly place a bet. And as we've been doing all the time, oops, <coughs> uh, we do that on the flip of a coin. Um, so I go to random.org and I flip a Dutch Gilder. And then uh, he loses all his money. And then I completely forgot to say w what heads or tails is, so I'm going to do it again. Heads <laughs> is DSP and tails is owls. And it is great. Tails. So I'm going to lose all my money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Place 100 on owls. But my possible win is four hundred and seventeen dollars, so huh. that would be nice. Yeah, my possible win is thirty-nine cents. <laughs> so I guess <laughs> you bet against your own team, Vogue. Alice is not my team. Alice is not your team. Oh, I'm sorry. No. I thought you just you just hang out <laughs> with them a lot. I uh, see. Don't worry, Sam, uh, you're not crazy. I only hang out with Entrapment. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can all still place a bet. Um, I've changed the time uh, that this match starts to uh, half past. Uh, half past eight, yeah, it's eight o'clock. So, um, yeah, y the tag you can find it in Twitch chat. Um, I see that a lot of you have already placed uh, bets on this. It's uh, quite a large pot for a third division match. Um, and yeah, speaking of third division, let's uh, actually have a look at the current standings. No, yep, here we go. <laughs> and uh, screen region. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Preparation, right? I'm actually just <laughs> laughing at DSP right now. They seem to, uh, as uh, Vogue was telling me, they're noobs. So, which they're is noobs. <laughs> appearing because they're both they both posted the the password to the match server in the public GTV. Oh, that's and uh, then and then they're asking about uh, whether they can jump on trees on Abbey. So, <laughs> okay. Oh, happy piglet. My apologies. Yeah, uh, somebody did actually correct me. Um, thanks a lot for the correction, Time C. Anyway, um, as you can see, the current standings, DSP has been flawless this season. They've been yeah. incredibly good. They've won everything. And, uh, well, Owls is currently fourth, so um, they can, well, join Pirates as number two. But um, since the match between these two clans, between Owls and Pirates, ended up in a win for Pirate, they are assured of uh, the second spot and thus going yes. through to uh, <laughs> Division 2. Uh, this I'm is a pirate member if you You're a pirate you. member. Oh. <sighs> so you're not even. Uh, <laughs> you, you're one sided yeah. in this match. You're probably yeah, I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> biased, yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, I think that uh, DSP will ready up very soon. I've asked them to wait uh, to until a certain time and we're approaching well, that. It's Abby is not uh, their map of choice. Like, uh, I'll kind of force them to play. Uh, Abby, because they didn't change the fixture. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta follow the rules, guys. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, My yeah, we uh, might have to wait a little bit longer because we they probably need to, yeah, make tactics again. Yeah, that's quite possible. Um, in fact, uh, some of the. Well, one of my teammates of Intribe is playing in Owls in Team Survivor. Jessica is also known as uh, Gnurkus. Gnurkus, yeah. Who has a new mouse, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to be shooting at walls. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually uh, used to have a very cheap mouse like mine, uh, but now he bought a. God, what was it? A Razer. N I don't know, something or other. Ah, uh, yeah, he told me, like, Abyss or. Abyss. Abyssus. Yeah, Abyssus, that's, like that's that. the one. Razer yeah, Abyssus. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting for them to ready up, but. Uh, Damn those pros taking over uh, uh, pro mice. I mean, what's wrong with a mouse of five euros? <laughs> I I don't even use I use free mice. Y yeah, My mouse e is exactly. Going on six years old now, and it's better than anyone else's. 
I'm playing with mouse mat. In which division are <laughs> you're playing <laughs> only with a mouse mat? <laughs> I'm playing uh, with touch screen and touch. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, whatever. Touch. <laughs> iPod touch up in here. <laughs> or uh, drag. What's drag. the what's the one that uh, for uh, for laptops uh, touch pad? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I did I, try that actually. I, in fact, I um at one time, at one point in time, I think a couple of years ago. I set up my Urban Terror to play with a uh, joystick. <laughs> this work? Ah, it, it actually right did work. I mean, I played on the public, and I, of course, I wasn't as good as normal, but <laughs> it was. That a, sounds really slow. It was a lot of fun. They need fighter jets in Urban Terror. <laughs> Someone call Raider. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Fighter jets in Urban Terror. I'm going to bomb everybody. <laughs> the maps are so small and useless, <laughs> but still. <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, uh, maybe on yeah. sand or something like that. Uh, we should be able to rocket jump. <laughs> oh dear God. Uh, yeah, they should just let us dev the game for a week. <laughs> <laughs> See how bad it is. Imagine. No, they're uh, um, they're now still talking to I think uh, a, a referee. Um, but yeah, of course, Gnurkus himself is playing, so I don't think that he can uh, be the referee here. Probably looking for a division supervisor at the moment. But yeah, uh, as far as I, I can know, be that they're guy. talking to Sasha at the moment. Yeah, it would be nice if they readied up as soon as possible because, uh, well, if you came here through Games TV, and uh, hello and welcome to the guys that did, um, we have another match lined up for you in exactly an hour. It's Red Army versus WH, also known as Without Helmets. And uh, that will decide the winner of the second division uh, of the Urban Zone TS League, the league that, or the division that uh, all these clans that we're watching now, like DSP and Owls, are aspiring to be in since they're Division Three. Who's uh, who's shoutcasting that? Uh, that would be me and Anderson. Oh dear God! Anderson <laughs> is not shoutcasting this since, uh, well, she is part of the Owls team, but uh, she's not in this team since they have two teams as far as I know. But yeah. Indeed. Anderson and myself were testing um, Skype video chat uh, just for a second ago to incorporate that in the shoutcast, but wasn't a that great success. Well. <laughs> it wasn't a great success, so that's why we're testing. <laughs> I yeah, guess you got to use, use fancy stuff that doesn't suck. Yeah, I, I guess I'll have to have a look on the, on the XBIT forums. But yeah, with a, uh, we're still waiting for them to ready up. Um, <sighs> still two minutes remaining to bet on the match, so let's have a look if more people have bet in the meantime. Yeah, already uh, 200 more. Of course, uh, don't forget that... Uh, oh, some people have joined me in my bet. Instead of my 400 possible win, it's now 250. A lot of people are waiting to lose their money, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Um, it, this is also the last uh, match of this uh, of this division, as far as I know, since um, it's pretty much uh, game over after this. Uh, this is the last week uh, for clans to catch up with their matches, and after that, the winners will be crowned, and we'll know who will be continuing on to the next divisions. And uh, then we can start with the Winter Cup. Finally, will we uh, will we use 4.2 for the Winter Cup? Is there any news on that? Yeah, there is actually. I've uh, had a very good talk with uh, Raider. If you don't know who Raider is, he's part of the Frozen Sand development team. And uh, well, <laughs> I can see what you're typing. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you'd notice. <laughs> and maybe the furious typing that I can hear through oh your God, uh, <laughs> keyboard. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, we um, we got the assurance that uh, support for 4.2 once we start using it as a league will be um, yeah will be more. So we'll uh, and it seems that they're going to ready up. Um, uh, that, so we will be playing 4.2 in the Winter Cup. Of course, it's also part of supporting your game developers uh, playing the new version, because yeah. that way we can uh, weed out uh, bugs, etc. I've tried the like newer updates of 4.2, and it's actually it's it's becoming a really nice game. Exactly. Yeah. The no problem part, is with no. the current uh, the current version at. Uh, the servers crash and burn, which is bad. But yeah, um, that kind of 
if it would arise during the competition, it would be fixed within a, an acceptable time frame, so like 24 hours or something like that. Um, do we know if GTV works with it? We do... That? Well, 4.2 should, because it's still based on 4.1. It's not HD. I know they made some protocol changes, though, which makes me nervous. I don't know. We'll see, and otherwise we'll be uh, going into this <laughs> into the spectator mode. <laughs> Um, uh, by the way, I have one last thing to say. Um, Ants uh, ha had to be called up to show up for this match, uh, otherwise it would have been cancelled uh, on our side. But uh, yeah, he had to run back from his friend's house to be here. So I hope you all appreciate that. Uh, while we are going to start this match anytime <laughs> soon, we're waiting now for. Oh well, Shamanix. Uh, well, to we're all waiting, waiting for half an hour now. So. Well, not oh. exactly half an hour, and here we go, we're hot, and uh, I'm going to leave it over to Binary Thief and Vogue, and uh, enjoy this match, guys. And let the train wreck begin. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so uh, Abby was defaulted, DSP, this was not DSP's choice, and thus all the drama around it, but it couldn't be URT without some beautiful drama, and I, I got to, oh god, why do these people have stupid names? AGD <laughs> is uh, sitting around on the arches there with a the nade, so I'm... I'm assuming he'll probably jump out like a little ninja and try to throw I, that nade. You can call A G D T G. You can call him Hero. It's uh, uh it, that's that's just yeah, harder. That's, that's Hero or Hero, whatever. <laughs> hero, I can do that. Or, I think I'm gonna mix good, it up though. A good day to die. It, it means. Ah. And then that's uh, uh, F, that's actually F Y means for you. But in the meantime, you can see that both uh, teams are camping it up in their spawn, actually. Yor is taking yep, a little I... risk, he might get sniped, so yeah, he moves back. Which I, I think is feeling your... Yeah, I have a feeling Yor is hanging... Or, sorry, uh, DSP in general is going to be hanging back more, since they probably don't have... Yeah, exactly. Of uh, that... DSP is playing with one sniper and two medkits. And they got exit with AK. <laughs> Yeah, he's famous for his AK uh, accuracy. He he never plays without actually. Man, they are just wow. This is <laughs> this is actually yeah, fairly slow even for to... Abby. Yep. Oh, and I should mention that uh, Seven is uh, doing the camera. So yeah, he's... send complaints and anthrax to him. <laughs> but hopefully, we yeah we won't get the derps that we get uh... from. <laughs> Uh, I'm expecting Owls to move into David's, or... Yeah, it looks like they're getting set up for a anywhere. push here. Oh, Ooh, there is movement. It. Looks like DSP is going to be moving... To central room. That it looks like that nade did absolutely nothing. Uh, they only ha uh, Owls only has one guy covering it, so... And he goes down. Just goes down, and a rush in here by DSP. A bit Three of... Three kills by DSP. Nice yeah. Rush. A lot of a lot of crossfire Ooh, there. Two versus Quick. two, two versus Ooh. one. Oh, that was a two versus five situation, I think. Yeah, great job and there, it, bringing it back yeah. down. Yeah, Ants making three kills there. Yeah, and Nitrox there. with SRE. Yep. So sniper and sniper, and then I don't know what Ants has. Is Chamonix sniping? Steps. Yeah, Chamonix is sniping. Oh, okay, so Ant has the M4, yeah. Oh, but they're going to meet up here. Ew. Yeah, you can see the enemy. Oh! oh. That's... Yeah that's, yeah, that's another one missed. And that's a good comeback from, uh, from Miles. Ant's making four kills strength. 4 no. Good way to start it off, and it looks like possibly another slow... Round that yeah. worked out pretty. Oh, I hear some. Ooh, I hear some shooting at central. Yeah. But it seems there. that Alice is setting up the same way as they did last round. Which is good. They're holding a large portion of the map, and a lot of their players are in positions where they can move to either side to balance out on a rush. And it looks like Yor has got an antsy here. He's gonna push in. Got a leg shot. Ooh, Ooh Neo with a up. nice headshot. Nitrox getting ready to move in on Charminex, who has. Ooh, that nade's oh. gonna hurt him. Murky needs to move Good in, nade. and he does. Nice, nice. job, that Good G36. Kill. Yeah, he pinned Jessica there. I think, and... I think he shouldn't move in, because they're probably waiting for him. Well, he doesn't know to do it to an SR8. 
So a good oh. move there. Lots of fast uh, movement. Best positioning by uh, Chamonix. Ants is in a fairly good position here. He has a lot of options, and he's gonna run. Here's those footsteps above him. Oh, but behind. Uh, no miracle this time, Ants. <laughs> no, from all That's the sides. Nice <laughs> so one, one each. For each. One for each. <laughs> Speak English. And, and DSP is setting up the exact same way as Alice was doing on that side. Yeah, they're a little closer together. Um, and a little more focused yeah. on that statue there. I don't know what the other statue is called. Ooh! Ooh, that's... Charminex missing that. And pushing in, which is not a good choice, having seen those players moving in towards him. Yeah, but moving, moving towards... would probably also have him killed, so... Indeed. You're moving in alone? Yeah, a little bit too late. Better. A little bit too late to getting shot off on that. Ginkgo, really low here. And he will be taken out here. Oh, or not. Or, <laughs> oh, it's good hiding spot. Oh, a nice shot by Nice Rooks. <sighs> but Ginkgo DSP is still has very medic. low. Oh, Ginkgo moved apparently. <laughs> well, <laughs> Ginkgo they found him. And Ants, five on one here. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep. Poor guy. Got uh, quadruple? No, what's qu quad? Is quad five? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's four. Never mind. Shut up, Ben. And again, yeah, they're, both teams are taking it really slow here. There's no rushes, which we have seen Abby play both ways fast gameplay and this kind of waiting for one of the teams to decide uh, to, to push in. Whoever gets impatient first, really. Yeah, your sniper is a really important factor in this map. Like, Ooh, Night you Rocks. Are... Sees... Ah. Ooh, that's a move from Alce. It's not working out, though. Oh! Two versus one. The Ginkgo is a very strong gun with his laser. Ah. Oh, but uh, yeah, AGD was uh, Juke in there, going back and forth, and was able to get those DE shots off, which as we've those seen. bullets. And this is a five-man rush to Davids. Nitrox getting the first kill, really nice. Yor is going to be pushing around, which is a good choice. Going for the flank. Oh, unhit. Great job there. Nice. Nice. Helmet Double shot. helmet. Metting up, and Neo in trouble here. Yor is such a turret. I play with him in uh, clan base. He's in my team for clan base. And yeah, he, he's such a turret. That's, you can say the same thing for Ginkgo. Just, just put the guy behind box and he's just a turret. Really low here. Oh, and missed that shot. Meaning, easily dispatched with the DE. You're making three kills that round. Yeah, that helps a lot. Ooh, that's a really fast reaction. I didn't see him coming. Nice flank. He's... Coming from behind. Oh, nice helmet shot there. A nice quick lock on. Yeah, they got this in the back. <laughs> nice DE. Ah, oh. door doing great there. Or your. your I wanted to say it. Right. I said door. I think. <laughs> oh. Oh, the <laughs> click click. So yeah, close, that's but... not a sound you want to hear in Urban Terror. No, especially when you have two players pushing in on you, and uh, almost got him, but alas. Nitrox, interesting choice of a sniper spot. I don't he's think not it's gonna have... possible to actually hit the guy there. No, he's not going to have a lot of reaction time for anything, <laughs> and his view is very limited, as he hears a bullet whiz past him, so a good choice backing down there, having no clue where it's coming from. Uh, Nitrox is just looking for Chamonix. He knows he is somewhere around. And there he is. Oh! Ow. Yeah, that's the movement penalty from uh, from Nitrox. That's yeah, kind of fucked him up right there. Indeed, yeah, he had three circles, meaning Ooh. there was a <laughs> Charminex on those stairs again. Yeah, he, that he was, was sliding an down important the stairs. Shot. If he would have made his shot, it would have been like the round winner, I think. 
Indeed, yeah. Bring it down to two versus two here, although... Well, that's maybe... still three versus three. Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't see ants. But still, <laughs> two versus three here. Uh, we're following Neo. I think this is the his first CW for Owls, actually. <laughs> and, of course, both teams are going to camp. Uh... Uh, this is only in favor of DSP. Indeed. Although, they should be... Maybe they should be... I don't know what they're going to do here. Possibly leave one person behind and search with the other two. Ooh, but, ooh, Jamonix saw that. Like, one pixel of his helmet. Oh, nah, that's unfortunate. We'll rush in uh, and... Oh! Oh! Not not quite enough. Well played by DSP. Just being very patient. And then getting the kills. And 6-1 here, which is not a score Owls is going to be fond of. Oh, sure not. You're oh, man. You're being really aggressive here, actually. And... Uh, it didn't really work out for him. Oh, he's he got still a nice alive. Helmet. Yeah, he's got a nice helmet there. Yeah, he would have liked to to kill the guy though, because now but, it will just yeah. medic, and it will be 90 HP again. So the situation doesn't re didn't really change. Right? Ooh, Jessica walking right on that nade, but able to get one kill and a exit lot of was damage low. on the other guy. Yeah, yeah, exit was low enough that Ginko could take him out. Ginko taking two players out there, so good job. Good job. Making the gap only four now, and with. Nine minutes to play, that's, that's doable, that's... Uh, it will be a hard test, because the runs are really slow at the moment. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna see most of the action from Owls hopefully happen on their map. Because right now, what? this is just a shooting gallery, Jesus. Yeah. DSP, DSP just... doesn't want to make... Uh, doesn't want to play short rounds, they just rushed into David's right there. Yeah, wanting to get this over with. Now they do have a nice enough lead where they can take some risks here. Uh, I mean, Owl's in a much worse position. They need to get some rounds here. So, and if you if you take a look at the minimap, they will have two guys in the tunnel, and they're moving in from central right now. Three not versus good three exchange. here. No, not not going for either team. And in I fact, thought... going way in, in the negative of DSP now. Nitrix yeah. is running. I found it kind of a strange. Oh, oh nice oh. shot. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's how you get the ladies. <laughs> but yeah, oh. rushing, rushing central, just rushing f four men through that tiny, or three men actually, through the tiny hallway. I don't think it's really smart. I like all the people in Twitch expecting me to actually try to pronounce... Nice shot there by Nitrox. But uh, expect me to actually try to announce people's names. I'm English. I speak yeah. one language and that's English. We're not even trying. <laughs> well... Yeah, you don't have an excuse. You can't be like, I'm I'm a stupid American. <laughs> I have a better excuse. Oh, it's not my native language. <laughs> blocked there, and uh, who got blocked there? Charminix? I didn't see. Regardless, someone got blocked there, and uh, Nitrox <laughs> was able to get the kill, and it was cool. Now, let's take a look at the scores here. Ents is the only one going positive in, uh, in our team. Yeah, Karen just a little bit. A little bit better balance on uh, DSP, uh, DSP, but it, ooh, Nitrox is the only one having a positive ratio. Yeah, and he is sniping, so it, it's not horrible. He is sniping versus Chamonix, though. Let's see what Chamonix score is. Chamonix seven kills, seven ten and, and seven eight. Nitrox so. with eight deaths. So. Uh. Yeah, with 9-3 here, there's 6 down. Charmonix missing an important shot there. Just got a glimpse of it. I was moving into Fountain. A nice Ooh. call on the flank there. That could have been much worse for them. Oh. Three and versus DSP five. is not in a good position. Gets taken oh. out quickly by Ginkgo. Oh. So Owls is going for a comeback here. Yeah, six the difference, six minutes remaining. Yeah, it's it's doable, but will be uh will be hard. They're rushing Davids again, but none of DSP are here. 
I they think do have this position now, so they. I'm assuming D, yeah, DSP's camping now. Yeah. Oh, Sharmex. They should be watching for the flank, I guess. Do they have a player? I think they have a player on the flank, yeah. They have two. Yeah, they have two, actually. Yeah. A nice little uh, sniper exchange here. Oh, no, he's to your left. He's to your left, Sharmanix. I think he knows something. He's just he's waiting. waiting for him to show up. Not going to happen, though. Someone might push in here. Yeah, are we have some now. action on uh, Marble up. Nitrox the only one remaining. He has a sniper. Oh, what? Ooh. He was scoped in on uh, <laughs> the body there. And he didn't shoot for some reason. Yeah. Uh. No miracle this time. <laughs> oh, Anderson, I love it when you talk dirty to me. <laughs> yeah, t tell me about how stupid I am, Anderson. Yeah, uh, you got a strange relation going on there. <laughs> uh, it's because I said quad was five. I didn't, I didn't mean that. I was joking. I was rushing in again. Ginkgo dropped his Kevlar for the rush. Not something I, I, I would do personally. But... Ten five. Yeah. Yeah. So they have a two over lead. <sighs> or, or, Ooh, yeah, he got lucky okay. there. Double lead. Nice. Whatever. Good job, Chamonix. Good job Hitting with that bump. Yeah. yeah, hitting him 50 and then finishing him off with the UMP. Or the ump. However you want to say. Yeah. Oh, nice helmet shot there. Nice trade. Nitrox is not in a good position here. He's going to actually be pushing in towards them, which is not a good choice as Neo gets two Double nice helmets, headshots yeah. Yeah, right as he comes around the corner. I would like to see Chamonix like uh, peeking at um, tunnel for once, trying something different because it. Uh, I was about to say it's not working out at the moment, but oh, nice I think shot there! Als has won three rounds in a row now. Oh, and Chamonix Jesus. making a nice kill. Nice snap around there. Oh, <laughs> misses that. That's an important miss. And yeah, AGD has time to push in. They should know where he is. Come on, have he's the call in their out, spawn. Guys. Come on. Good job. Okay. That took them a little bit too long. They are many. Ooh, he's going in. in the Good move. Oh, oh, nice job. That could have ended much worse for them. Yeah, Ginkgo connecting with three Cavaliers. That's really nice. Oh. So, 7-10. They... With three minutes, so it's entirely possible, but of course now DSP is going to camp like there's no tomorrow. Making it really hard for them to do. Also trying to move in from all sides now. I can waiting see like those... three guys at Fountain. Which is... Yeah, they I think they're just the waiting to get locked. a... Yeah, they're waiting to get a, to get a kill somewhere. Bad and there you got to go. The so they will move in now. Nitrox... Ooh, that's a big miss. And you know Sharmanix opted for you notice Sharmanix opted for the LR, which is a good choice here. Eight ten with two and a half minutes, and it suddenly got a lot more interesting here. Yeah, we started off with really sh long rounds, but teams are playing really aggressive now, especially uh, Alps, of course. Nice hits. You're taken down. I don't know why you're moved in. Pior is a little too antsy here. He really likes to move. Yeah. Nice nade by Ants, they're gonna push. You're, if you're watching, player that was. don't do that in Columbus. <laughs> uh, he's probably and... not watching though, but. <laughs> oh, behind Since you, he's Nitrix. Playing. Is he really not hearing that, or is he just trying to run? I think he was trying to run, but. Uh, how mad do you think Seven would be if we got like seven people in this TS3 right now to shoutcast us? <laughs> Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there. Uh, I kid, I kid. Someone post the public TS3 IP. I mean, what? Uh, you're <laughs> pushing all the way around here. So I guess maybe this is their tactic, is to throw one of the players out to flank. 9-10 uh, here. I think Al's knows. All of Al's are probably at day fits. And this is an extremely important round here. Yes. This either ties them- Oh, please tell me they're watching their flank. Oh, they're not. 
they they peaked. And, uh, can we see your set of signs? Oh, that was. There we go. You're moving in from behind. Oh, he's too late to the party. Murky moving in the nades. Uh, oh, but shut shot. down. Amps Exit last man. Me. There's gonna be another round here, most likely. Uh, but it might not be again. enough. Oh, but they're running away. That's really smart. Good job there. Uh, yeah, that's that's smart by ants. They they can hope to get two rounds in if they move really fast here, but most likely that is gonna be that. Also rush in. Yep. There we go. Nice. You're. Was that a double helmet? Yeah, it was. And DSP quickly taking the advantage here. Yeah. All... <laughs> it's over. It's it's not gonna happen. 14 seconds on the clock. They need to push in now. They need to kill five guys, and there are only two left. And uh, that's gonna be that, I think. Yeah, Jaminik's getting a nice kill though. But yeah, four more to go. And not gonna happen. But a good game all around. Owl's making a nice comeback there, bringing it within one. And unfortunately, they they weren't quite able to make it back. For that one. Yeah, well, it was a good game. A smart play by DSP, but running away. Uh, so, yeah, it's some more time for the last round. Indeed. Good score by Hero. And I think, oh, well, I don't know what map we're going to play next. Because I'm useless. Uh, I think, like, Al's home map was Tohunga, but yeah, I'm not sure about that. It's just a guess, actually. Yeah, the information that I was getting, but it has changed since then, uh, was that it would be Turnpike and Tohunga. But uh, wait, no, sorry. Um, that it would be Tohunga and Casa. But obviously, uh, Abby was forced, so I guess that it will be Tohunga. Yeah, if, uh, because if, if, DSP's home map is Casa. I know that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's uh, kind of a shame that they got forced on Abby. But still, DSP managed to get the win, although it was very close. Um, I got to say. Shamanix, uh, I have never really watched him play like this, um, but he was really impressive with his S R A. Indeed, some nice, nice movement there, and and what a comeback! I think that they were five one down. The first round went to Owls, and then yes. all of a sudden five in a row for DSP, and well, they managed to make it uh, quite close towards the end. But great tactics by DSP to. Um, yeah, run away from the last one standing, forcing him to slash kill to have a, a hope in hell, to <laughs> a chance in hell to get a, a two rounds in, but that didn't happen. Uh, it seems that Austria has been loaded. Um, oh, wait a second. Can't show you just yet. I have to take the camera. And blue team read it up, so that's DSB that's read it up. Yeah. I'm wondering if Chamonix is going to snipe again, because as far as I know, he's not like a real sniper, but he is able to do it. We, yeah, we saw that in the last map. But oh yeah, he did, he did very good. This is a map Much really suited uh, for sniping, in my opinion. Um, in fact, yeah. if ever there was a map that's suitable for a nade launcher, I know you probably laugh, but this is it. Over, uh, try and over get, the wall. try and get your advantage with nades over the wall. It's um, at least, <laughs> it's what I've been doing this season. Um, I know I've been playing Division Eight, and this is Division Three, and there's a huge skill gap. <laughs> but honestly, if ever there was a map that's suitable for the nade launcher, it would be this. Um, but I don't think that we'll be seeing it. <laughs> I think that we'll no. be seeing great <laughs> SRA so shots either. and uh, a lot of suspense. <laughs> well, we, uh, <laughs> we will see a lot of nades probably. Yeah, we'll certainly see a lot of nades. In fact, let me see if I can spectate. Inspect it? No, yes, I can. Um, if you are new to uh, Urban Terror, since I think some of you will be, this is the wall, um, and that's <laughs> they're ready up. It's course. starting. So but uh, a lot of nades. <laughs> Uh, Red spawns there where Neo is, and blue spawns over there, and lo a lot of nades will be going over the wall. Uh, let's try and see if... No, DSP opts for a quick rush in through tunnel, and I'm going to leave it over to Vogue and Binary Thief. Thank you much. Thank you. And DSP uh, rushing in, no hits from Murky, but he still gets the kill, and it's 4 versus 1. And the first so one goes to DSP. <laughs> Jeez, first round in less than 20 <laughs> seconds there. Great job. And they're doing it again, actually. 
Nice rush. Ooh, Ooh double Jesus. helmet. Double helmet from that range, too. Great stuff. Al's doing a lot better this round, but not by much. Jesus, they just... This is just a shooting gallery. They need to get out of that spawn as fast as they can, because... DSP is just trapping them there, and... Yeah, looks like DSP is changing it up now. Good choice. They're gonna expect that rush, so they have a chance to do something different. Ow! Oh. Holy heart. I was expecting the rush at tunnel again, so they uh, they rushed wall. But yeah, DSP was not rushing uh, tunnel this time, so they were ready for the rush. Gave them a huge advantage. Let's see some sniper action right here. Saw a bit of leg shoot across the screen there. Nitrox knows there's a player there. It's gonna move in slowly. Oh! Never move in slowly. It always gets nope. you killed. Ants has more than enough time to yeah. scope in and take him out. And another kill for at, Ants. The guy at upper tunnel sniping has a small advantage, I think. Jesus, three kills for Ants there. With that SRA. And it's not <laughs> enough. <laughs> if you look at the score, he's him and Jessica are the only players on their team with kills, and he has over uh, seventy percent of the kills <laughs> that they've made. Oh, jeez. DSP is going to do a delayed rush, and there they you see them moving in. Owls is still very close to their spawn, which I'm surprised at. Although they it seem working to. Us. Yeah, this time it works a little bit better for them. Nitrix not even gonna be able to, not even able to get his scope around there, and exit quickly dispatched by Jessica and his yeah. LR. Nice Nitrix striking. was expecting him to be around the middle stair where Jessica's moving right now. Well, he's, uh, he got his back turned to it, but you know what I mean. Yes, <laughs> indeed. And some preventive nading, it's uh, a little Wait. bit of waste of a nade though. I'm assuming, I'm sure someone will show us in a second, I'm assuming DSP is back in their spawn. Ooh, yep. a Ooh they're again. pushing. Well, less of a rush they're moving more. back. Yeah, they're moving back. A little bit more yeah. of a slow push. But they they know where, they know where uh, owls are. Nice job there, Gink just waiting for someone to pop out, gets the helmet, and pushes Yor back. Teaching Yor a lesson about pushing. Ooh, nice shot there by Nitrox. Getting a second kill. Very good job. And four versus one, this is another round to TSP. Although, Chamonix is able to get one down, but yeah, not enough. Got Mercury some good finishing hits. it off with a nice helmet. Nitrox did spot an enemy there. Moving away from him. Uh -oh. Deciding yeah, to push in, and he's trapped. Don't want to turn your back to them, because then they can just shoot you down as you try to run back out oh, of that the tunnel. Move. No, indeed, but still, Al's is not having a lot of fun here. Al's is Murphy's playing gonna take really out both of them. Win. Uh, also playing really defensive, they're only camping their spawn actually. But it's it's not working out at all. <laughs> and I assume this will be another delayed rush. Maybe two guys going middle? Or they seem to be holding back now. Although, I don't know why they changed their tactic now, as it's been working perfectly for them. Sands one round. Nice hits by Ginko, getting two hits on the sniper. They will medic up now. And looks like, yeah, uh, he There we go, there's the rush. In. But, a little bit of blocking there. Nice job by Nitro, gonna get that final, <laughs> those final shots out. Even got though he spammed a bit. Indeed. Jessica was desperately trying to get in the middle, but... He got oh. hit in the leg. Ah, good job by Exit. Running, yeah, just... Charmix ran straight in, in, into Exit's AK there. Yeah, that's some good uh, communication on uh, DSP side. His teammate nice. called out his position. Nice shot there by... Who was that? Ants. And there uh, we go. 
That's how that's, you should play them. Yeah, that's right. that's what they need to be doing now. Is really I was answering... waited. I was waited for DSP to rush, and as soon as they rushed in, they were completely out of stamina, and Als was able to flank them from uh, from the other side. This is how they should lay it. Ooh, that's a rush on wall. Unusual, you don't see it very often. Because it doesn't work out very often, but... Yeah, and this time it's... It didn't give them an advantage, but... 2 versus 3, it's still doable. There's three the advantage, one. though. Murky very low. <laughs> yeah, not a good place to be, Murky. And no hits there. Nice try to... Trying to trace along the wall. <laughs> So Al's is not out of it yet. Uh, they are they're hurting for rounds in Nitrox. Uh, Nitrox. Nitrox took a uh, LR three hundred. He he changed his uh, SRA for uh, for an automatic gun. Well, they heard yeah they heard seven saying how this should is a nice SR eight map and everyone said well <laughs> now we can't play SR eight. Uh dear. yeah, we love you seven. Even though no one listens to you. <laughs> nice made there by Neo. Uh, they're going your? to move in. Must have been rush. Oh, out of ammo. But, yeah, you rush in and you're just out in the open. Yeah, and then, yeah, it's, it's not smart to rush wall in my opinion. You, you get a disadvantage most of the time. And exit the dispatch Ginkgo there. Yeah, using their uh, advantage. You're good. Indeed. And just awesome hits with the AK on long reach. The late rush incoming. But on the other side, we got Al's going. Oh no, never mind. I thought they would do a wall rush, but they're not. <laughs> what is this? It's a little no. line of players. You just need one S8 shot and you hear them all. <laughs> well, I'm not sure that's the way the game works. <laughs> I don't think so. If only. <laughs> Raider, take that down. We want that added. <laughs> Railgun like SR8 shots. Ginkgo's gonna push in here and ruin the meta's day, but it's not gonna happen. Ooh, yeah. Good job yeah, getting around that corner. He had to try it, like, there was no other option, but. Yeah, unfortunately. D it's, uh... DSP made a good choice there. They met it around the corner so they weren't caught out in the open. So many players in all the leagues met in really bad places. Mm. Yeah, You're kitchen... spotted a guy there, but. Spotted an arm at least. Uh, show no hits. No hits, yeah. Team wins. And that's a quick Owls. round for DSP. Guys! Guys! Yeah, come on. We could do better well, than this, we've seen... Yeah, they were able to... Yeah, what is this Come back tactic? from a... From a 7... <gasps> oh, I love it! Two DSP players pushing... Pushing in a tunnel and then they see a nade and they both back out. All your ducks lined up. New meaning for it. There's nobody covering middle on DSP side, as far as I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 still not. I'll shoot. They're leaving a nice gap for a flank. flank. And again, you're a man out, pushing around for a flank, but I guess he's not even needed here. And that makes it 311. Hero and Exit are just killing everybody at the moment. Yeah, they're doing both. a good job. Yeah, they're both in double digits already. The hero has 16. Oh, yeah, 16 <laughs> kills. And Charmanix. exit is just amazing. Almost 5 ratio. Yeah, Sharmanix, so they are running straight into all of DSP's players. Not even having a chance there. And what? Ah, oh, don't throw a nade while there's a. Okay. That was an interesting tactic there. <laughs> Generally, you shoot when you can see the player and throw nades when you can't. Nice shots off on uh, Mur Murky? Murky. Ooh, yeah, they're low. But they're gonna net Nobody right around to him. move in. Two versus two, and I, ex I think Murky had a med kit, so DSP will be like both 90 HP. Someone needs to tell Ginky that he doesn't. Ginko. Not oh, God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now you know where my mind is. No, uh, someone needs to tell Ginko. <laughs> he does not. He does not need that. Uh, uh, 
uh, whatchamacallit, Kevlar anymore. It's pretty much useless. Push in now! They are medding! And they're medded. Well, the jump didn't work out for it. No, it's. Uh, I did get killed. <gasps> oh, yeah, Zaya. Z I can never say Zaya's name. Uh, pointed out uh, we should congratulate Ants and Ganerkis on their engagement. They're both sporting colors. <laughs> Well, oh, congratulations! Uh, Indeed, guys. I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, didn't know they were that in love. But hey, yeah, there are, there are actually stories of like people who got in love <laughs> over urban terror. Like, uh, oh, they met each other on urban on urban terror. They they met up in real life. Yeah, they fell in love. Like Seven and Zaya, and yeah, Aya, not Zaya. Aya Lam. Yeah, yeah Seven oh. and Aya Lam are engaged, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me. I heard it. <laughs> uh, listening to old Shoutcast then? <laughs> uh, I can just tell Seven is just hovering over the kick button for TS3. <laughs> I can sense it. He's getting ready. Anyway, Nade's coming in here. Ginko's gonna back off a little bit. 12 4 here. Owl's doing much better. They're trying to control the map a little bit more. Yeah, they're nice. taking the init uh, initiative. 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 Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome to Urban Zone, my friend. This is how we speak. Like, we are illiterate. You'll fit in perfectly. <laughs> oh, this is... I'm trying this. this yeah. You're trying to get down, down on our level. You have to go downwards. <laughs> oh, Shamanix is second kill. Beautiful He's behind shot you, there. that's... Yeah. He's behind you too? Oh no. Yep, yeah he Whoa, is. Whoa, I don't know. He's what behind he all doing. of you! <laughs> that's some oh, really bad communication. That was horrible. Three players all taken out by the same guy who is behind them. That was... That was very bad. Nice, your Nice hits. Popping up just for long enough. Hey, he's a little spaz on this team. He likes just pushing, and he some of the time it works out for him. You do have to say, "Ooh, yeah. that Ned was Nade was Ned." Jesus Christ, I cannot speak. That Nade was awfully close to his face, and that one was right by his feet. Ginkgo, with a Nade and then leg damage. Oh, Kevlar damage. Rookie, that's a bad angle. Ooh. That there was a team kill on all sides. Did you see it? I did not. Yeah. No. Shamanix took out Jessica with his uh, SR8. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. Someone was running in front of the, their sniper. So, with all respect, Owls is falling apart right now. Yep, they are. DSB uh, got their shit together. They know what they're doing. Nice flank. Oh. There's already... Two. Oh, they got a meet here. Oh! You're shooting right over Jessica's head. Yeah, going for nice the headshot from, there. Nice uh, from from Knurkus, Jessica. Yeah, indeed. I just like calling him Jessica because it's cute. <laughs> Knurkus is wonky. Jessica's is slick, rolls off the tongue. You're doing a good job there, taking Jessica out and then backing off right away, knowing that there's just a few more Owls players right around there. Yeah, I do not want to play with them. Owls didn't Ooh. move in. Something they sh should have done, probably. Some nice trading in middle here, and it's 1v1, they know where each other are, kind of. Each, each other? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know how to speak. Shh. Oh, Murky Nice Mike. jump. Ooh. <laughs> pro, pro hacks, sweet jumps there. Oh, nice job Good there job by Ants. Ants. Just I didn't a... expect the guy to be up there, but uh, it was expecting him to be down. Indeed, but down he pushed in, out. Uh... And was able to correct himself with more than enough time. That is awfully close to your teammate. <laughs> he was around the wall. Nice, Nate! Nice push! push. Oh. They should move in, huh? Uh, they don't Great even have job. to. But they're still, they're not even half, half over, so, and that's uh, half over points wise. No. Uh, with only four minutes remaining, 
I um, don't think it's going to happen. <sighs> no, it's not. This is not the time for a comeback. It's not like uh, Abby, unfortunately. No, they needed a comeback about five minutes ago, and Kinko's playing really good uh, at the moment. He was, uh, I think, he was in the first five minutes. He was like one in four, or zero in four, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got got to get warmed up. Yeah, you got warmed Woo! up. Yeah. Floating guns. So I guess, uh, oh, I know what I can say. I can be all professional to make up for calling seven a noob and stuff. Uh, you guys should follow us on Twitch TV because then you get notified when we're broadcasting these awesome and uh, high quality. Damn it, they're resuming already. High quality uh, <laughs> matches and you know Twitter, Facebook, YouTube's. You can see old Do matches on YouTube. They're almost always uploaded the day after. And seven... do we have Twitter too now? I don't yeah. think we have a Twitter. We've had Twitter for a while. Just... We have a Twitter, but it's not being really? used. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. Actually, we're, we're, we're still waiting for a bot that can automatically yeah, spam on Twitter. I was just gonna make that joke. Damn you. Uh, Enjoy damn the rest of this match. Joke. Maybe we do have a comeback. It's uh, a couple of rounds in a row now for Owls. And again, a good start here. It could, could have. Well, would be nice. It'd be nice to see, but... <laughs> well... Damn it, Seven. Uh, flawless DSP. in a row, that's not bad. Yeah, <laughs> now he is making it a very entertaining match here because they're, they're not camping, even though they're like leading with uh, that's six points. Indeed. I, no, I would be camping did, at this moment. They did that in the, the other map, and they're, it's, it's nice to see that. Like, it's a tactical yeah. gameplay or a tactical move to you know sit there and just wait it out, but it's more fun. Yeah, it's just it sure game, is. Guys. It really is. I remember this... when I played DSP, they were like, they, they don't show, and then once, once of a sudden they like all move in at the same time. It's yeah, very good. It's uh, really strong. Very yeah. good tactics and uh, communication on their side. Um, and Owls is definitely. It seems like it's a little weaker communication here. Don't you know? I'm feeling. Yeah, I think you're you're right there. Because there's been a few times where they're getting shot from behind, and uh, you're going to jump up there pretty soon. Maybe he can kill Chamonix. Just waiting. Ooh, just saw uh, that like yeah. Would have been an awesome kill if he made it. <laughs> Although he did have a player right in front of his face too, so <laughs> a bit risky. Uh, trying to shoot around Jessica here, but. Having a hard time with that. And a nice hit Mur from Murky. Yeah, Murky has a nice shooting gallery set up, just getting tons of damage out. Ah! Uh, no, it's. That's uh, unfortunate. Dominic has a sniper. Damn. Two they have no clue where he is. Nice kill, nice no! kill. No! This, this, this could be nice. Come on! No! Oh! Sarmonex! <laughs> uh, uh, a good day today, not getting the hits he wants to, but he did get no. the kill. But later it was not really helping him right there. Maybe he uh, was I'm... relying a little bit too much on the laser and spraying him a little bit too much there. Indeed. Sharmanek's not just getting arm shot after arm shot here. He wants those torsos and they're not coming. There we go. Nice shot. Finally getting that. And should point out, there's one minute on the timer, and a little less than... Well, no, exactly nine rounds, so... Nine rounds. That is your result, more or less. Um, I'll just stick around, because Seven's gonna talk in his sweet, smoothing, and sexy voice. In just 45 seconds. About how beautiful you all are. Uh, regardless... First map, very good job by uh, DSP and Owls with that nice comeback. Getting within one round, so close. DSP taking the advantage here, two versus five. Yeah, but on the second map, it oh. was just... DSP was dominating on the second map. Indeed, and we do have to do tons of mentions towards Charmanex, who's doing an amazing job, 21 and 25 here, with an SR8. Really, some of these shots, man, they are... Frag moving material. 
Sharmanix, you're not supposed to shoot at the ground when we're talking about how good you are. He knows it's over. It's... Uh, yes. He gave up uh, a little while ago. And there it is, your last round. Maybe a pity round? Well, nice not, kill when... by your... not like that. Uh, get the kills for your Frank movie. Oh, Indeed. Yor got two of them. Four bullets? Ah, uh, not a hit. And there it is, 921 for the second map, and that means DSP takes both maps, uh, winning just by a little in the first half, and, uh, in the first map, and by a nice 11 lead. Is that 11? No, that's 12. No, that's 12. That's... Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I math good. I math very good. But yeah, so, GG. It was, it was yeah, definitely good GG on both sides. Was. I'll probably, if I had to give any critique, maybe a little bit more communication on there cuz that one oh that one time when they had two players or three players lined up there and yeah but GG all around yes indeed very good game congratulations to DSP to, um, they made a flawless uh, run through division 3 now and uh, let me just show you because I've just entered the scores what the current standings are well, there you see 35 points from seven matches. Of course, uh, in Urban Zone, it's five points per win, and one point if you uh, just show up, and uh, well, even if you lose. Um, so that's a uh, that's a very good run there in uh, Division Three, and they'll definitely be uh, good contenders for Division Two if you see how they've done up to now. Um, unfortunately, Owls could not get off that fourth spot. They uh, are just behind WU and Pirate. So congratulations to Pirates 2 as well for continuing yeah. on to Division Thank 2. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Vogels uh, is a member of uh, Team Pirates. Um, don't uh, just leave all immediately because we have another match uh, lined up for you. In 13 minutes, we have uh, a match between, uh, let me see, I had it here, Red Army and Without Helmets. It's to decide who will be the winner of the second division. So even, uh, even more, oh, sorry, <laughs> even more, uh, even more skill. Then uh, you yeah, saw it just an now. Interesting match. Definitely an interesting match. Let's see and in those, in those 13 minutes, 709 is going to be reading uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. So <laughs> stick around. <laughs> in his sexy voice. So 13 minutes of that, and then another match. How about no? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's have a look uh, at how the betting went because uh, that's uh, that's finished now as well, of course. Yeah, um, I won 39 cents. Congratulations. Uh, let's have a look. And there you see, you lost a hundred dollars, but that means I got it all back out of those hundred dollars. But uh, because once you uh, get below or get to zero, you get a hundred dollars back. So it's uh, good to go all in, and uh, of course at the end of the season, which is pretty much now, uh, the best gambler uh, will be announced. Let's have a look how that's been going up to now. Betting. Ooh, wow. Seems that we'll have a new gambler. <laughs> Shans has a very nice, uh, nice earning there. So uh, at least some, uh, s a lot of people have been very active. And uh, don't forget, you can also bet on the upcoming match. Um, and I will post a link in a couple of seconds on the stream, on Twitch chat. Uh, oops, don't need to go there. Um, so hope you all enjoyed the match. Uh, I certainly did. Unfortunate for Owls that they couldn't get away with uh, a couple more points because a draw was uh, close. Um, but uh, of course, congratulations to DSP and thanks a lot to Binary Teeth and Vogels for shoutcasting. We'll be back uh, within a couple of minutes and uh, for the re remainder, we'll have some music. Any more words to say? Uh, 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 no. GG and you know. Good yeah. game to both to, uh, to both teams and. Uh, Absolutely. Have fun with your next match. Yeah, indeed. Good we game. We apologize and, uh, if we insulted you. Good, <laughs> good luck <laughs> in the Winter Cup and otherwise, of course, in uh, the next season, which will be starting in January or February. February. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, enjoy the music for the remainder and then uh, we'll be back with another match.